The biggest question I've heard so far this week is about the spinal columns versus tracts and just what those all mean and do. So I want to clarify that. Um, the spinal cord, we spent time on this in lab, is composed of the gray horn and then the white matter. So here's our gray horn. And I'm not going to label all the components of the gray horn right now, but you did this in lab, practice doing it, the dorsal, the ventral horn, the, the lateral, and then what type of information is carried in each of those places. The gray horn is in the center here, those like horns. Then outside of that, all this other stuff, anything outside of the horn is our white matter. The white matter is myelinated axons. And this looks different than the gray matter. So over on this picture on the right, can you tell me, so here is the border between gray and white matter. And what's different in these two regions? In the gray horn over here, this is primarily the cell bodies of neurons. So this here is a cell body, a multipolar neuron, which you can see here, the multiple dendrites coming off one of these is probably the axon of this motor neuron. It's probably a motor neuron. If it's in the anterior horn, it's a motor neuron for sure. Out here, this is white matter. This is myelinated axons. So you can see here, let me just label these two, multipolar neuron, myelinated axon, I'll get to the word column in a moment. Here's that axon and here's a, the white matter surrounding it. The white matter is the myelination, that myelin sheath that's produced um, in this case from oligodendrocytes. So this white matter, we give it names. Sorry, that's how it is, we have names. Um, generally, they're called columns. So this would be a column back here. Which column is this? This is our dorsal column, because that's the side that we're on. And I talked in lab about how I kind of identify that from this, how this horn is shaped here. Down here, we're gonna have our ventral column. This is this region of white matter. It's just this entire region. Over here, we've got our lateral column. Why are these called columns? because they go up and down. The information, this is a cross section, right? In reality, the spinal cord is like this. Oh, I don't love that. Um, and then this is a slice from that. That information of the white matter is going up and down. I gotta be able to draw straighter here. Up and down like this. These are my axons traveling up and down like a column. Spaghetti, take spaghetti and to hold it lengthwise or a bunch of pens together. That's a column, a bunch of these grouped together are columns when they're in the spinal cord. If they're in the periphery, maybe going out to the periphery in a group like this, they're spinal nerves. So that's what columns are. Then when we wanna talk about specific specific information that's being sent. So let's say we wanna talk about, okay, where's the information coming from the cortex of the brain? Where is it going through from the red nucleus? The information traveling through different regions of this column, those are gonna be called tracks. These are specific pathways or like highways that different information takes. So this is what we saw with um, this week's video, I think, um, the second set of videos related to motor pathways, we saw some specific tracks. Here's the anterior corticospinal tract and the lateral corticospinal tract, two different locations where information goes from the cortex through the spine down to the skeletal muscles. 
I, I also talked about these three here, tectospinal, reticulospinal, and vestibulospinal, all begin in different areas of the brain and travel through this tract right here out to the skeletal muscles. These tracks, all of them right here, are all a part of what? The lateral column, which is part of the white matter of the spinal cord. These tracks back here are part of the posterior column. Now, since it's here, I'm not having you learn this word. Funiculus is the same thing as column, same thing. I think the word column is a little easier and makes more sense than funiculus. Um, so that's why I'm using it, but that's what's labeled here. This whole thing back here is the posterior column. What's another name for that? The dorsal column. So you could think of like five different names for these things. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. It's really not. Up here is our anterior or ventral column or funiculus, but don't use that one. Um, you can if you want to. It's not wrong, right? Okay, I hope this clarifies the difference between columns and tracks and then how what these are in the white matter of the spinal cord but please let me know if you have continued questions.